possibly the purest example of mathematical abstraction that I've ever seen comes up in the following way. Suppose we rotate a sphere in place in any direction. Well, this is a transformation of three-dimensional space, and so it corresponds to a 3 by 3 matrix, which has nine entries. So we can think of this rotation as a point in nine-dimensional space. And if we consider all rotations in any direction, in any combination, this gives us an object in nine-dimensional space. It's called the rotation group. It's a smooth, symmetric object. And once we have this, it kind of takes us on a life of its own. We can study it in and of itself. So we can ask things like, is it bounded? Meaning, do parts of it go off to infinity? Which they don't. Or we could ask, is it connected? Or does it instead have a few different pieces that make it up? Which it does. But apart from understanding the properties of the group, we'd also like to understand the functions on the group. Because that'll help us make connections to all sorts of things. And if possible, we'd like to find building blocks for these functions, which are like simple pieces that add up to get the bigger function. So this will help us reduce down problems to comp for complicated functions down to problems um, on each of its simple pieces. Now some functions are solutions to what are called differential equations. And differential equations describe something about how a function behaves, something about its nature. So for example, the wave equation at the bottom of the screen describes how a vibrating guitar string acts like a wave. And in my thesis, I looked at functions on a group similar to the rotation group that are solutions to what's called the Heisenberg wave equation, which is similar to the wave equation. And I found a class of solutions, and they're like building blocks. The functions um, are themselves solutions, but they combine together to get even a lot more solutions. Thanks.